Hi guys, welcome to the channel. It's Olivia Magill on the couch. Yeah, it's gonna be kind of... Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Liam with an L. <laughs> Dominic, my fiance, with me today. Um, it's raining, so we thought we might do something a little bit more cozy. Uh, talk on the couch with us. Um, something that came up in the week, right? Last week. Last week. Um, we had a boys night and a girls night, uh, which a lot of people had an opinion on. Um, so we thought, why not make a video and hear our viewers and see what they do you hear what our viewers have to say oh, about it? We want your opinion on this discussion. Oh, what are your yeah. thoughts on boys night and girls night in a relationship? Basically? Oh yeah, if you're in a relationship, what is your opinion on it? Yeah. Um, so can I start? What is my opinion? Okay, with, with regards to when I was younger and in previous relationships, I didn't believe in allowing oh yeah let's put it that way i'm being truth like i'm being honest okay um i was very possessive very um how do you explain it like you know when Clingy, somebody's possessive um, and clingy yeah that was me in my previous jealous. relationship yeah like if i look at it now i don't see the point in why i was like that um but um so yeah i was very possessive very clingy very where are you going what are you doing who are you with boy um, no. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. No. But yeah, that's you didn't meet me like that. I wasn't like that. Ah. I promise you. No, really. Okay, yeah, in the beginning stages it was. I was a bit in the beginning I was like possessive, yeah. I don't know why I had to I think it was insecurity myself. So I had to first find security myself before I could obviously be less insecure about you. Um, and yeah, in the beginning I was like with her as well. I was like, who are you, who are you with? Why are you talking to the guys? Because I was with my family all yeah. the time. And then you would phone me and meet me like five other times. Yeah, I don't see the point in it now. Because now when she's on the skit, it's, I don't really care. <laughs> Not that I don't care, she knows. I still worry if she's okay and stuff. But I, I know she's fine and I trust her. Um, but yeah, so that's really that means that you didn't trust me? No, I didn't trust myself. And that made me not trust you because so I you couldn't trust, trust myself. Me. No, I couldn't trust, yeah, basically because I couldn't trust myself, that's why I couldn't trust her. So, yeah, so but if I look at myself back then, I was very jealous and very possessive, very wanting to know everything where you're going, who you with, why are you with them, why are you talking to guys, who do you need to talk to you, what is the I don't see the point in it. <laughs> like, guys, if you are like that, please stop it. It's exhausting to yourself and it's exhausting to the female as well. Like I don't see the point in you being jealous of another guy. If she wants another guy, she must take another guy. You know what I mean, right? If you want somebody else, you're gonna take somebody else. And I'm sure you feel the same. I'm gonna want some other girl. Boy, the door is open. You know, I'm not the right person. I'm not gonna chase you. Exactly, but we're getting married in a few months. So if you do get your nonsense, then I want to know why. But anyway. <laughs> Yeah, that's just the type of person that I was back then. Now, um, she obviously got her own friends and her friends and her had a girls' night. Um, I'll show you snippets quickly.
but because the boys that were in the relationship as well felt they needed time out and that's what we did so we did as you could see what we did we were well behaved nobody did anything wrong everybody was perfect and this is why i don't see the point in why people were asking if it's okay to do a boys night and a girls night and aren't the guys gonna catch on nonsense isn't the girls gonna catch on nonsense? no the girls were fine they did their own thing they had how was your time it was wonderful but it was amazing. just the fact that <laughs> it was just the fact that it was just us golf and we could just like make friends and have fun after the so, security came to knock how many times exactly <laughs> exactly exactly but uh, obviously because people who have been drinking don't really know how much noise they're making so there's music playing and you talking and <laughs> shouting and woo like you don't know how noisy you are so that was the only complaint so it wasn't complaints of having people in and out of the place no that did not happen mm. it was just there for a good time that's it true and like nobody was jealous nobody was worried about their females when we were together everybody knew they fine and i knew you fine you were messaging me um and you were saying yeah you're fine and you were checking up on me and i was checking up on you um actually we did not check up oh yeah we didn't check up on each other but, but our friends were checking three. up on their girls and obviously and we just wanted to be like we hey. just asked is dominic fine there yes he's fine yeah so that's basically what happened there also can i just add that these relationships are all kind of uh, it's not new relationships mm. whereas when you speak about the whole insecurity and jealousy situation if you are in a relationship for obviously a longer period of time um you grow and you obviously learn you learn time. things if you are in a new relationship it is understandable that people are a bit jealous and things yeah, but partners not, go out on the own because if you think about us doing something like that six years ago when we started dating you would not be okay with it yeah i wouldn't be okay with it so that's what i'm saying i'm not trying to justify the jealousy and the possessiveness mm, all totally. i'm trying to say is the the length of time that you are in a relationship does yes. impact how you react in these certain kind of situations. situations yeah true and i think we 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 laid a foundation in the beginning of the relationship we we if i did something wrong or you didn't like something i was doing you would put your foot down and immediately tell yeah. me what you're doing is wrong i'm not liking it if not i'm going to leave and that also caused me to change in different areas you know what i mean where i was constantly asking are you right where you what you're doing and you didn't like that you told me immediately now nah, that feels like you're smothering me bruh like leave me you know what i mean and eventually it's like oh she's yeah i'm not gonna back off she's and gonna you, leave me you actually you make me want to do things or you made me want to <laughs> mean it Are like you? that i mean to say like you try to smother me and check up on me the whole time you're just gonna make me want to yeah because because then i'm like let me, let me give you a reason exactly. why, why if you're accusing your me. girl of going to do something she might as well do it because she's you're not really, doing it you're I'm not using really it you're acting suspicious like you want to know everything so why not just give you a reason to exactly so now i'm with but you there that, that's not what happened i would I, certainly hope not guys not. if there is guys that know please comment <laughs> <laughs> no i'm joking i don't care if you comment if you do it's fine bro. um <laughs> but yeah that's where i'm coming from that is my opinion um i believe girls night and guys night are fine as long as you do know where your boundaries are mm. don't take your girl now for an ass when you know you're in a relationship with her and you're planning to get engaged or married to her first of all if you're in a relationship you shouldn't be catching on nonsense yeah. you know what i mean because you then why are you in a relationship and love and well. do whatever you want to do you're not hurting anybody you're not sneaking around and having to do whatever you are free to do it if you want True. nobody is going to be there waiting for you at home True. the fact remains is if you want to catch on nonsense don't be single 100%, 100%. um so yeah that is my opinion on it i don't know what your opinion is i basically have the same opinion i i feel like Could once I once in a while 
um, it's good to take some time for it. it doesn't have to be the whole weekend it can just be like we did one night um, just to as I was saying just to take some time for it you have time to do whatever mm. not whatever you want to do but you know do you. give you some space to miss your partner because sometimes you do need space too because if you are in each other's space the whole time that we are we live together whatever we always with each other so sometimes you do need a little bit of space that's a our next time. topic though as well we um living together before we marry because mm -hmm. a lot of people have an opinion on that and we don't really care guys if you have an opinion on it go sit on your opinion because my parents are fine with it her parents are fine with it so and we're getting married in a few months it doesn't really matter to us if anybody has an opinion on it right I feel, I'm sure she does feel the same. But that is a topic for another video. 100% that's a topic um, for another We will do another video where we talk about our um, experience experience living together before marriage. Yeah, it's but really we're not going to speak about that right now. Okay, it's good and like, yeah, we'll speak about that, that another That is a, another video. But yeah, that's our opinions on what girls yeah. night and boys night It's means. needed sometimes, obviously not every weekend, not all the time. It is needed sometimes. Definitely, because they're missing each other. It works out very good. <laughs> I'm just saying. No, I'm just saying in general. <laughs> so yeah, I would I would advise everybody take some time. Guys, don't be jealous. If your girl loves you, trust me, she loves you. She's gonna be there for you. You do the same and don't cheat. It's not right. So yeah, have your fun apart. Come together and have a better time together. Yeah. You know what I mean? We do most of our stuff together all the time. This was one time. It, we was, had just, it was actually the first, first time, time that we No, it wasn't the first. It was time. No, like time. boys, like a stipulated boys' night, girls' night. Yeah. It was the, like it was the first, first time mm. that we did something like that. And obviously, it's not going to be a regular occurrence. Yeah. Because it can cause issues. I understand that. Yeah, when um, alcohol does come into play, it can cause issues in a. In a because yeah. you're not at your full senses. But then you have a guy like me that doesn't drink and smoke. I can tell the gents. I'll be like, gents, come here. Come here, gents. Gents, come here, gents. Come here, gents. So, I'm, yeah. I'm sorry. I am a drinker. And I was living my best life. You're not really a drinker. You're an occasional drinker. Right. Correct. So, Correct. she had her best time, as you can see in the videos. I'm going to add all the rest of the videos at the end so you guys can see what's going on and how it was. But thank you very much for joining us. This is our first time on the couch with Liam with an L, Dominic <laughs> with a the D, vitamin D. So thank you for joining us. I hope you loved it. Um, you'll see us again with our next topic. And thank you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment and share. And please comment. Give please us your opinion comment on below, please. what boys and girls like in a relationship. It means to you. Yeah. And if you think it's right, if you think right, it's wrong. wrong. No judging. If you think it's wrong, I don't judge you. We don't judge you. We are not God to judge. He's the only judge. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you again. Enjoy.